I'm breaking down. We often hear this sentence from our friends and loved ones. What are the reasons why we break down? Why is there communication breakdown? Let's find it out. Hi, dear students. Welcome back to our oral communication class. In our previous lesson, we discussed about the three types of communication models. Today, our discussion is focused on the barriers of communication. Our lesson objectives are the following. First, to define the concept of communication breakdown. Second, identify the different kinds of barriers to effective communication. What can you say in the picture? It seems that she is heartbroken. What's the usual reason of breaking up a relationship? There are many factors. These are the barriers. Just like in the communication process, the elements of communication play a vital role and communication breakdown may occur when one element is absent or will not function well and it becomes a barrier to communication. In other words, communication breakdown results when the intended message of the sender is not understood by the receiver. Barriers to communication can cause roadblocks in a person's professional or personal life. What are some examples of communication breakdown in the workplace. Example, a worker who made a mistake on the report because of unclear instructions, a boss who is not treating a worker correctly, or a student who did not submit his or her assignment on time due to internet problem, and many more. Here are some barriers that may cause breakdown in communication. The first, physical barriers. Any noise or sounds from the environment Examples, people talking too loud, noise from cars, barking of dogs. The second, psychological barriers. They are called as mental barriers. These refer to social and personal issues of a speaker towards communicating with others. Example, trauma. You experience stage fright. The third, cultural barriers which pertain to communication problems encountered by people regarding their intrinsic values beliefs and traditions in conflict with others people's culture affect the way they communicate and relate to others examples are different beliefs traditions and customs manners of dressing the fourth Linguistic barriers, they are conflicts with regard to language and word meanings. Second language learners consider their mother tongue as a barrier in learning. Examples, difference in language, accent and dialect, use of jargon and slang, speech defects. Your communication will be affected if you have teeth problems, even when you pronounce a word. A famous author named Werder Burr mentioned a similar idea of barrier when he classified noise into three kinds. They are external, internal, and semantic noise. External noises are the sight, sound, and other stimuli that draw people's attention from the intended meaning. Examples, noise from vehicles, the sound of airplane. Internal noises are the thoughts and feelings that interfere with meaning. Examples are confrontation with a friend, fear of speaking in front of the class, racial prejudice. Semantic noises are the alternate meaning arose by a speaker's symbols. This idea means that a word may have another meaning in the minds of the students. This is affected by the language in which they grew and the culture in which they are exposed. Examples, incorrect grammar, using excessive technical jargon, all right, there you are. I already discussed to you the common reasons why we experienced communication breakdown. Let me ask you, have you had an experience where you had to relay bad news to a classmate or friend? What would you do if there was a breakdown in communication at work? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And for our part two of our lesson, we will discuss the strategies to avoid communication breakdown. Happy learning everyone. See you. So, 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 so.